can't dunk it out of shape, man. You are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey that. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, <laughs> man, hit it with the heat. Yes, yeah, the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Well. I had to call an audible, so I'm going to just let God talk through me, man. Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, July 27th. It is the 27th, right? Yep. It goes to Marcus Vick. You know Marcus Vick, Michael Vick's brother. He played uh, college football at Virginia Tech. Could never stay out of trouble when he was at Virginia Tech. He was suspended for, the, I think, the entire 2004 season due to many criminal convictions, and he was reinstated, but eventually got dismissed from the Virginia Tech football program due to a bunch of legal infractions, and then he made himself eligible for the NFL draft, but he didn't get selected, and then he was later signed by the Miami Dolphins as an undrafted free agent. Played one game, if I'm not mistaken, and he was released from the team. Well, he ended up in the news yesterday. Uh, first, he tweeted out that LaShawn McCoy gave his baby mama herpes. We're going to get to that, but first he said, he tweeted, niggas need to stop spreading herpes out here. Get your treatment, dude. And this is a terrible tweet from uh, Marcus Vick to put out simply because that was a story that broke about his brother, the great Michael Vick, back in the day. Google Ron Mexico, kids. Okay? Google Ron Mexico, Michael Vick, and see what you find. Now, Marcus, you have introduced an old story about your brother to a new generation. This is the equivalent of 30 years from now, some young Vic tweeting out, you niggas need to stop fighting dogs out here. Treat animals better, dude. Okay? Then he tweeted about herpes again. Let me read his tweet verbatim. You can go look on his Twitter, at MV5. The tweet is, damn, LaShawn McCoy gave my baby mama them herpes he got, end quote. Marcus, I'm a fan of realness. Uh, I respect people that live their truth, but some things you have to keep to yourself. That's still the mother of your child. That's not some jump, some chick you just smashing, and then she let LaShawn hit. That's your baby mama. You're going to be dealing with her for the rest of your life. I know you're upset about LaShawn McCoy probably allegedly having sex with your baby mama, but you just blew everybody up to make him look bad, but you ruined your baby mama's image in the process. Your name will always be attached to this situation because guess what? Mm. Marcus Vick's baby mama has herpes, allegedly. That's yours, bro, whether you want it to be or not. But that's not why he's getting the donkey of the day. He's getting donkey of the day because of this video. That, There's that's, more? Yes, I just saw this that surfaced on TMZ Sports. Okay, I think it came out yesterday. Now, back in April, Marcus Vick was at a gym in Newport News, Virginia. That is his birthplace where he was raised. I'm positive everybody knows the Vick family in Newport News, Virginia. Well, he was in the gym, and cops were questioning him about a warrant that he had stemming from a civil case. Marcus Vick spoke with cops for nearly 10 minutes before deciding to make a run for it. Oh, he shoved two cops out of the way, broke tackles, took off down the street. Cops chased him down, and Marcus eventually either got tired or just gave up, so he just sat down on the ground. Uh, TMZ Sports has some great video of the situation, courtesy of the police officer's body cam. Let's hear some of it. 10-3, he's running. Hold traffic, he's running. He's running, he's running. Westbound, down city center. White tank top, black short. Bald head. Turn over and get on your stomach. 10-4. You stole the two cops. You can't do that. I did? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean I did? Oh. Mm -mm. Now, that's some good moves, though. This is the reason Marcus Vick is getting donkey today. Marcus Vick was in a gym in Newport News, Virginia. Marcus was born in Newport News, raised in Newport News, even graduated from Warwick High School in Newport News. Your brother was a superstar. Michael Vick, everybody knows you. That's why when the police saw you in the gym, they questioned you because they know who you are. Where were you running to? Like, where in the hell were you going? You can't run away from the warrant no matter where you go in Newport News. You still got a warrant. Everybody knows you in this town. This is your home. What, you going to run away and then just go enjoy the rest of the day? Where you was going? Where you was trying to run to? Norfolk? That's a neighboring town, right? Where you trying to run to Hampton? Mm. Maybe Portsmouth, Virginia Beach? You, you had to be trying to get to one of those places on foot because anywhere you went in Newport, they was going to eventually get you. So instead of just dealing with the warrant for the civil case, you decided to shove police officers and run away? So now you got a resisting arrest charge and that's what he was later convicted of, resisting arrest and sentenced to a year in jail with 11 months suspended. He also got 12 months probation. Kids listening, if you ever needed an, needed an example of how to make a bad situation worse, this is it. 
You can't run away from your problems literally or figuratively, okay? Running away from any problem only increases the distance from the solution. Only thing you had to do, Marcus, was deal with the warrant. In this era where black men are getting gunned down by the police, why give them a reason by running away? Those cops had their guns drawn. You know how bad that situation could have ended for you when all you had to do was deal with the warrant? Once again, kids, running away from your problems is a race you will never win. Hmm, what hee-haw do I want to give Marcus Vick? Should he get the smooth sound of the Hamiltons or should he get the biggest hee-haw? Hmm, I'm going to give him the... Uh, I'm gonna give him the biggest. Eh, what do you think? Smooth, eh? I think smooth smooth, I like the smooth sound. Big hee haw. Yeah, big hee haw, right? Yeah. Give him the big hee haw. Give him a big hee haw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought about smooth sounds, but smooth sounds is for lighter donkey of the day offenses. This could have ended up really bad for this kid. But he really dipped out the cops. He has some good moves. So. Yeah, no. you got some good moves until a bullet hit you in the back. Ricky had good moves and boys in the hood. We all see how that ended, right? The Breakfast Club. 